Hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel. So it's a pleasure coming your way. A few weeks ago, I brought out a video, uh, actually an outburst about uh, two French doctors who suggested that Africa be used as a test field for the coronavirus vaccines. We were all outraged about it. So many Africans have come to react to uh, the suggestion of these doctors. They have allegedly come out uh, to apologize to Africans for making such comments. The next thing we know, five African countries, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Gabon, Mali, and Senegal, have become the test places for the vaccines. And a video has surfaced of uh, the vaccines being distributed currently in Senegal to be tested on Africans first. And these countries have recorded very low cases and yet they are being tested and our african leaders are okay with this you are doing a wonderful job yesterday i was watching you on youtube you know so that's why i say let me send you this video so that you can see it this is in senegal in village they are giving people this medicine so one woman because of they are speaking mandinka senegal we speak mandinka and wolof and jola so this one woman was saying that if the medicine is for sale, she will buy it. So another woman said that, you know, no, it's not for sale. You know, so this is very sad. They don't bring it in the capital, in Dakar. Because at Dakar, all people, they have smartphone, they know what is going on. So please share this video so that people can get and see what Vers, euh, vers euh, le mois de, de, de juillet, juillet, août, nous pourrons commencer déjà à, à avoir des, des, des essais cliniques, n'est-ce pas, de ce vaccin. Ici, à Bon, nous, ferons, nous avons été choisis aussi pour faire, pour faire ces essais. Donc, le vaccin sera produit soit au Canada, soit aux États-Unis, soit en Chine. Nous, nous, sommes, nous sommes candidats pour faire les essais. This honorable man is proudly talking about it as though it's the privilege handed to them as Africans to be selected for this uh, vaccine test. And he's proudly announcing it to his people that their country has been selected as candidates, as if there's something to be proud about. This is sad. This indeed is sad. Listen to what this woman has to say about these vaccines testing in Africa. Full of uh, what I want to discuss was uh, talking about the coronavirus and the whole new wave of racism that this thing has brought. Um, and my husband's a little bit tired of hearing me complain about it, so he said I need to go and sit here and say what I have to say because it's important. Um, with this corona, firstly, there's a couple of things that I want to address and and. Uh, I would like to start with this, uh, with, with, with China and the coronavirus. We know that um, that's where this thing originated from. Um, and we know that they lied about it. They lied about where it started, how it started, and when it started. We, we know for a fact that it started at least six weeks before they actually uh, told the world. So they knew, and they were, they, were, they were running. They spread, they fled from Wuhan, and this, this thing took on an epic proportion of, of, of infect, uh, infections. So China, um, look, I'm not a racist person, okay, but uh, I will call it as I see it. China, um, being a communist party uh, and a communist country, they don't speak the truth even to their own people, okay? So they don't know what's going on in the rest of the world either. Um, the racism, the reason I'm, I, I'm mentioning racism is because it's not just racism against, you know, uh, you'll hear the Chinese people now calling racism racism because everybody's questioning China, people are staying away from Chinese people and all of those things. And quite frankly, I don't think they have any ground to stand on when they call racism. You have got a country calling racism while they are kicking Africans out of their homes in China. So who, who, who was racist here? Chinese are living in Africa and you are kicking Africans out of their homes in China and accusing them, those who are not infected, I might add, of being the ones who bring this coronavirus to, to China. 
Coronavirus came from China. It came from Chinese people. Whether it came from some stupid person eating a bat or whether it came from a lab which is down the road from the Wuhan uh, province and the, the wet markets, which is an infestation ground for disease and viruses and sicknesses and illnesses and things like that. So what we have is a, a, a country of people whose government don't speak the truth, a country of people who, I'm telling you now, for the majority, dislike Africans. They do not like black people. They don't even like black Chinese. Okay, if you are a Chinese person and you work out in the field and you are dark skin, even that one, they have no interest in you. But the racism that I have seen against blacks from Chinese is, is of epic proportion. My own husband is a black man. I have seen them hold their nose when we walk past. I have seen them get off of elevators when we get on. I have seen them frantically hit the close button on an, uh, on an elevator so that the door will close before this man can, can step on. I have seen them hold their bags and purses as close to themselves as they possibly can because they think as a black man he's going to rob them. We're not going to rob you. We don't need anything you have. These, these people don't like blacks. They don't like them at all. And there is more than one reason as to why that they are in Africa, okay? They are in Africa not just for your gold, not just for your minerals, not just for, for these things, okay? It, by the year 2050, the population of China is going to be so much so that there is not going to be enough room left in China for them. They want your country and they don't want you in it, okay? We are talking about people who hold their nose when you walk past and, and now they're sending a, 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 a vaccine. What vaccine? They haven't created a vaccine. No country has created a vaccine yet. There is none. We wake up here every day and we check the news because we want a vaccine. The countries are in a battle around the world to see who will create the first vaccine. There is no vaccine. So whatever the hell they have sent, to, 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 to Africa, I believe Senegal, if I'm, if I'm correct, whatever they have sent there is not a vaccine for coronavirus, okay? What vaccine has ever been sent to Africa that did Africa any good? Zero, I'm telling you, none. We gave you HIV. For those who don't believe that, there is a movie, go and find it, there's a documentary, okay? The guy in the documentary, his own family also worked for the people that created this HIV virus in a lab, and sent it to a vaccination center where you people were lined up like cattle at a way station to be infected with this. I'm telling you, there, this thing that has arrived in Africa has already killed seven children, okay? It is not a vaccine for coronavirus. Ebola came out of Africa. Not one single white man died of Ebola. Any white man that got infected with Ebola was flown out of Africa into a white man's hospital and cured. Did we send any cure to, to, to Africa? If there was a vaccine for coronavirus, we'd have it. We'd be saving us. There are thousands of people dying in Italy, America, China, despite the fact that they would have you believe that they have fixed it because they haven't. It's a load of crap. If there was a vaccine that could save lives against this coronavirus, COVID-19, we'd have it here. It wouldn't be getting sent to Africa, okay? The reason those French doctors, those, you, for lack of a better word, or because I don't want to swear, those French morons who sat there and said, let's go and test this thing in Africa. There is a reason that they made those comments. They don't have a vaccine to test, okay? And if they were coming to test it, they wouldn't tell you they were coming to test it. The reason the French, those French clowns made those statements is because France is pissed off that Africa woke up to the continuation of the colonization pact and started pulling their money out of France. That is destroying France. So that is why those comments were made. If they wanted to test the vaccine on you guys, they'd have done it without telling you that's what they were doing. Okay. Now, not even a week after those idiots sat there, uh, Africa has accepted a vaccine. What is wrong with the leaders there? You have got to be crazy. In one breath, two clowns are saying, we want to go and test this thing on Africans. And a week later, you're accepting something called a, a, a vaccine for coronavirus, whilst no country has got a vaccine for this virus yet. It takes months. Our scientists here in Australia, in a lab, discovered something that quite could possibly maybe do something. And let me tell you, that starts in a the lab. Then they have to test it against the virus in a lab. 
if that's successful, then they have to test it against animals. And we start with mice and we get bigger and bigger pigs, etc., etc., before we move to testing it on humans. Okay? There is no vaccine yet. It hasn't, it, it doesn't exist. So whatever they are injecting there is to kill you. Period. There is no vaccine. No country has discovered a vaccine yet. And if we had, we wouldn't be sending it there. Okay? We wouldn't be sending it there. First, they wanted you guys to believe, okay, that it didn't affect uh, Africans. It didn't affect anybody with black skin. We exposed that. A week later, you're seeing it all over the news. It affects Africans more. More African Americans are dying of this disease than white people. They have messed with the heads of the Africans to the extent that you don't know, left or right. We have sent HIV. We have set up fake vaccinations, fake tetanus that, that, that um, made your women barren, fake polio, fake, 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 fake. How many Africans have been killed by vaccines sent from the Western world? We haven't sent a single vaccination. There, nobody here dies of malaria. Do they die in Africa of malaria? You bet your ass they do. Ebola has just been discovered again in the uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. So now we're going to have another break outbreak of Ebola whilst coronavirus is going and the white man is sending a fake vaccine because, as I said, no country has developed a vaccine for coronavirus yet. It doesn't exist. So they did not send one to you. They have sent poison. Okay? Poison. They have, what, 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 they have, what they have done is it's a, it's a systematic, right? They want to wipe you guys out because they want Africa for what? China's already there. They don't just want all the gold and all that stuff. They're there throwing money at your leaders, billions and billions of dollars, okay? They're giving out loans, which on the surface look fantastic. Long-term loans, small interest to build uh, infrastructures and buildings and things like that that are supposed to get a return so that they can repay those loans. Those things that they have given your country money for will never generate enough money for those things to be paid back so you will forever be indebted to China. You will be forever indebted to China. And they'll just move on in and they'll take over because if coronavirus doesn't kill you, this fake vaccine will. If that doesn't, well, Ebola's coming again too. So take your pick on which way you want to die at this point caused by, by the white world. The fake vaccines, you've got people uh, protesting and, and, uh, against taking this vaccine. You've got other people pinning all their hopes on the white man that they're going to bring this vaccine. It's a no-win situation. It's a no-win situation to the extent that even if we did send you a correct vaccine, half of you wouldn't take it because you already know HIV and all those other things were sent to you by us. So half of you would be okay and the other half wouldn't and you'd still get wiped out anyway. I, it makes me so... It, <laughs> I don't understand why you would accept anything from China, including a Chinese person. This is a country that is so racist. They made a commercial for washing powder where they put a black man in the washing machine, added the powder, and he came out white. Are you friggin' kidding me? Why would you want these people in your country? We have strict quarantine rules because of this virus, okay? You've got Chinese doctors that literally walked off out of the hospital from treating a coronavirus victim, got on a plane, landed in Nigeria, and now they're interacting with your people. Anybody that they walked past in that air airport can potentially contract that virus now. Anybody on that air airplane, the air hostess, the pilot, because it's airborne, it'll get into the air filtration system, are all now at risk. They stepped off a plane and they weren't quarantined. So they are potentially spreading this to everybody that they come into contact with. The people who came from the country where this originated from, have sent fake vaccine, they've landed in your, in your continent and not quarantined themselves, they would have the world believe that they've solved it in their province, they're lying. We know for a fact that thousands more people died in China before they alerted the World Health Authority that this virus existed. They are the reason that tens of thousands of people are now dead and you're accepting them into your continent, you think they're coming to help you? They're not coming to help you. They're just not. It's not going to happen. This thing is, it's, it's just creating a whole new wave of, of racism. 
in America. Okay, they don't even have enough room in the cemeteries anymore. They and they are now <laughs> America's population of prisoners, black prisoners. You're looking at 75, 80, 85 percent of prisoners are black. Who do you think they're using to dig holes and bury the dead? They are taking the black prisoners from the prison and they are using them to bury the dead people, people who have died of this coronavirus. Okay? They just want to wipe you guys out. China will have no room by 2050. Right? So in the next 30 years, their population is set to skyrocket to the extent that they will not have any room left. And they con <laughs> they're already there. You think they're coming and building infrastructure for you guys? They're not. They're preparing that shit for themselves. Okay? There's how many bases from different countries. I've said it and I've said it and I've said it and I've said it. World War Three will start in Africa because everybody wants Africa. Most countries want it for the gold, the minerals, the medicinal herbs. Most countries want it for that. I'm telling you, China wants it because they want the country. There's no room left where they are. They already have a one-child policy and their population is set to explode by 2050. And you, <laughs> a country that has lied about everything, including how many people, they would have you believe that this virus was only in Wuhan. It didn't get to Shanghai and it didn't get to surround. Bullshit. It jumped from China. It's all around the world, but it didn't get into Shanghai. How can you believe anything that comes out of these people's mouths? You can't. No country has a vaccine for this virus yet. So whatever they have sent there, which if reports are to be, to be believed, at least seven children have already died from being injected with this. It is time for all my African brothers and sisters to come together and unite and fight to keep your continent because we are coming. They are coming. It doesn't matter which way you look at it and we've spoken about it and we've said it a hundred times. I've been sitting here for nearly 12 months sending this message. They didn't quarantine themselves. You've got doctors who literally just treated a coronavirus victim and 48 hours later they're walking around in Africa. It's time for this shit to stop. It, 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 it has to stop. It's It's... The racism that has come from this, it's created a whole new wave. A whole new wave, okay? These Chinese people that you've just accepted, you've just accepted these doctors into your country while they're kicking your people out of their homes. They're free to walk around Africa and do whatever pleases them. The leaders' pockets are so well lined, they don't care because they'll bounce wherever they need to go. They will bounce wherever they need to go. They can go anywhere they like. Diplomatic visa, no sweat, no problem. Africa will become Chinese in a blink. Africa will become Chinese in a blink. They're already there. This vaccine that they've introduced, it's not a vaccine. I don't know what it is. It's just poison. It's just poison. If this virus doesn't take you guys out, this fake vaccine will. You will see a vaccine will be created. You will see the white man healing. Everybody's getting better. Everybody's getting better. And you guys will be dying if you're not already dead from whatever poison they've sent you there. What leader, what kind of a leader would ever accept a vaccine? If you are a leader of a country, you know no vaccine has been created yet. You know so what the hell have you done? Why are you accepting this thing into the country when you know it's not a vaccine for corona? It can't be because nobody's created one yet. We haven't had enough time to create a vaccine for this virus. This, this makes me so angry because so many people are going to die. Children are going to be left without parents. Parents are going to be left without children. Communities are going to be gone. And China's going to move in there and start building their buildings. The areas that they don't care about, they've turned to shit, digging up things, mines collapsing. China comes in there when, uh, oh, what is that stuff? Copper, okay? Copper. When the copper prices went through the roof, China came flying in droves. People that were untrained, uneducated, had no idea what they were doing, came to mine your copper. They hired Africans to do the hard work. 
on in, 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 in mines and stuff that were not built properly. People were dying just from that. When the prices went down, they all left and they didn't pay anybody. They didn't pay you guys. They basically used you as manual slave labor and then pissed off back to their country when the money wasn't good anymore. And what were you left with? Holes in the ground, rubbish, unpaid uh, 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 labor, and people suffering. How many mine collapses? How many people of your people, how many Chinese people die in mines in Africa? Ask yourself that. They don't. It's Africans who are dying in the mines, in the Chinese mines in, in, in Africa. Chinese people aren't dying there. They're paying your people to go down there and die. What makes you think they're going to bring a vaccine to help you while they don't have one for their own people? They are killing you guys. They're walking around with guns, okay? They are shooting you guys. They are treating you guys like slaves. It's the whole new era of slave trade. Only they're doing it legally and under the eyes of the, uh, of the leaders. What kind of craziness is that? What kind of a leader of any country on the continent of Africa can, can stand by willingly and allow somebody from another country to shoot one of your citizens? Whilst your citizen can't carry a weapon and defend himself. They do it because their pockets are already lined. Their pockets are already lined. So what do they care? They don't care. They don't care. Somebody has to stand up and care. Somebody has to stand up and fight for Africa. And I will sit here and I don't care how many insults I get. 